So uh, my name is Billy Cummins. Uh, I work for Heartland Payment Systems. Uh, I kind of wanted to just start, or the, the premise of my talk is about Snowflake, which is a cloud data warehouse database. Uh, I've implemented Snowflake at my previous employer, and we're going through the process of trying to implement it now. Um, I got roped into this kind of last second, so I apologize in advance for the content. Um, I am not a developer, to be clear. At best, I'm a data architect, and anyone that's worked for me would probably laugh at that. Um, so please keep that in mind. At, with that in mind, I did create a flow chart for this presentation. So if you have any complaints that this sucks, not a developer. <laughs> so it's kind of on you. So, so Snowflake is, uh, like I said, it's a cloud data warehouse. It is a very performant database. Um, what makes Snowflake unique is one that it's not tied to any one particular cloud. It's on two currently, Private Preview and GCP. Um, it is uh, very performant and it really, it, it manages to capture what we've all, or I used to try to find with some of my previous teams, which is a, a fast and performant database like, like a, a HANA or a good SQL server, but also something that I can dump a lot of data into like a Hadoop. Uh, Snowflake separates its cloud and compute as a good da uh, cloud database should. So everything that you store in Snowflake and that you'll see in here is actually stored in blob storage in Azure and we actually just pay for it when we run compute on top of it. Um, so kind of a couple of quick things to understand about Snowflake is the concept of warehouses. That is the compute that sits on top of Snowflake. So you can individually size your warehouses Sorry, it's a little small for you guys in the back, but um, we have four warehouses, and these are not to segregate data, but compute itself. So you can tie users and processes to a warehouse. So you can see three of these four are actually suspended. That means we're not paying for them. They'll auto-suspend after uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to whatever amount of time you set. Uh, and you, it will automatically turn on when someone runs a query, and then it shuts off after it's auto suspend. So you only pay for the time that the, the computer is actually running on it. So you can see here the different ones that I have stood up. Uh, so if I were to click on like this, the demo is currently up. If I were to run this load warehouse and I said resume and say yes, I could also scale it now. And now it's up and running. So I went from not paying for it to having it. If a user would execute a query against that, it would just automatically turn on for that user. Um, I can also scale the warehouses just as easily um, where I can go from an extra small and it is this simple to up to a 4XL and you just double your compute at each tier. So if you have a big job and lots of things you need to run, you may run a larger one and you just pay more during the time that you're using the platform. The last part is it's, uh, it's scalability in the other direction, which is the number of clusters. So if I have lots and lots of users that are using it during the day, I don't need a ton of compute but I do want it to scale horizontally as more people are using it, I can allow it to automatically duplicate my compute at the same time. So a quick demo, uh, the, through Snowflake, uh, you actually get access to the uh, TPC data set. So I just took one of the TPC queries here uh, that is against a uh, 10 terabyte, basically, data warehouse um, in order to execute. So this. Uh, the sales table is uh, approximately, store sales. store sales is 58 billion, I believe is what that says. Um, and then I can run that. So you can see I'm running it against this demo warehouse, which is an extra small. So this is the, the smallest instance inside of Snowflake, uh, but overall pretty performance. So it's running through, obviously joins to a bunch of other tables um, and building that data set for us. One minute warning. And it, and it runs. Um, so it does generally run faster as you increase the size of your compute. That is not necessarily a linear thing, but it can be depending on the type of query you run and the process you're trying to do. Um, but yeah, that's basically Snowflake in four minutes and 20 seconds. Thanks.